The year is 1884 when Dr. John Kendall and his wife Marie moved to Norfolk when most of the town looked like this. Soon new buildings were to be built and much of the town changed. The Kendalls had three children which Marie photographed extensively in their new surroundings. They were brought here by the Welch family. This is the Welch family homestead where the Kendalls lived for many years. Lots of snow in Norfolk, Connecticut. The great blizzard of 1888 brought nearly six feet and 24 foot high drifts. Here's Bethesda Fountain in New York where the Kendalls traveled. These are detailed photographs from Kendalls glass plate negative. The Kendalls had a fourth child in 1899. Carolina was the subject of a whole new series of photographs for Marie. This is the, ben, the Welch homestead. Marie used a flash in this interior photograph. Extensively photographed the one-room schoolhouses. This is a detail of Kendall. This is the Kendall home in Ridgefield, Connecticut. She did wonderful interiors. The Kendalls built their own home here in Norfolk in 1893 on Grant Street. Here to the left you can see the studio she built for her photography work. Edgewood Lodge was also a boarding house. Imagine the cool summer days on this porch. Kendall entered this photograph in the Columbian Exposition, also in 1893, and won this award for her work. She photographed many of the grand summer homes being built in Norfolk at this time. and local families. This is the E. Grove Lawrence House. The Lawrence's portraits taken outside and a wonderful interior photograph of the Lawrence family. The Battelle family also used Kendall and she photographed their estate. Robbins Battelle had her photograph his art collection, namely these wonderful paintings by Thomas Hovenden in the hands of the enemy, and this painting that's famous called The Last Moments of John Brown, which now hangs in the Metropolitan Museum. The Robbins School. Daughter Ellen and her husband Carl Steckel use Kendall to take other photographs of the newly renovated mansion, their carriage home, which was often used for events by the Litchfield County University Club. They built a temporary music shed in 1903 to test out the acoustics for their grand plan of the permanent shed built in 1906, which you see here. This thousand seat auditorium was the home of the Litchfield Choral Union. Cousin Alice Eldridge, also a patron of patroness of Norfolk, built the town gymnasium. State tennis championships were held here. Another great place to enjoy the cool summer breezes of Norfolk. The interior of the gymnasium. 
Alice Eldridge's wedding to Henry Bridgman. The Bridgmans built this magnificent home on Litchfield Road, hosted many events here for the town. Her sister, Isabella, built the town this beautiful library. Which still looks like this today. Sister Mary erected this beautiful fountain in memory of her uncle. And they, she and her sister built this wonderful golf course, a gift to the town, the Norfolk Downs. They lived in this elegant homestead. Here's a detail of the Eldridge's greenhouses in the upper left. They used the flowers to decorate the church and many other places in town. Here's the interior of the Eldridge homestead. In 1900, she produced this book, Glimpses of Norfolk, a souvenir for visitors. Dr. Dennis's bungalow, Professor Poopin, Piglets from the Poopin Farm, Carolina Kendall feeding the piglets, and Summer in Norfolk.